Hello everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 5th edition edition. Just as I was booting up the game, I was like, oh, we did a Starians thing, we did Shadow Hearts thing. I wonder what wonderful adventure I'll go on next. And then I remembered we're here. A Starian set off a trap in this room. I was unable to release this hammer. And now we have all other kinds of problems to deal with. But right now, we're alive. There is an eternal rat out here. I wonder if I should attempt to speak to the eternal rat. Um, animal speaking. I wonder if they will have some kind of answers for me. one another which one will be the meat and which one will be the tooth how did you end up here she did my chums took everything and ran the kindly devil hid me from them made sure they'd never find me I skitter now best of the litter and hungry want vittle sweet with a rot simpler life but harder Well, that was not illuminating in any way at all. So. What can we be doing? There's a bunch of people down here, though at least these three are not really threats because they have 15 HP apiece. My next best guess is to perhaps go up to the boudoir and see if there's something I can do with that find a way to deactivate the magic field save hope steal the orphic hammer rat so let's go back out let's go around the north side where are we we're here Right, for a start, how are we doing for rests? We have both rests available. Don't touch me. A Starian. Drink. A couple of those. Shadow Heart. No time to waste. Got any little ones? You do. Okay. Decent health. My worry is if we come across more of these hell spheres, doing cold damage to them is not simple because we are very quickly going to run out of spell slots for doing cold damage and such who is over here voya eternal debtor right let's back up a little And then Shadowheart, if you'd be so kind. There is work to do. Blessing of the Trickster for Astarian. Back to stealthing. Astarian. We're going to do our best job of trying to sneak attack up that ledge. I can't make the shot from right here, unfortunately. Well, even still, a ranged weapon attack will do 1d8 plus 17 plus 1d10. If we were to just make that attack, we'd be at 95%, which basically means we have to not roll a nat 1. And so I was debating whether we would turn off Sharpshooter all in, but we don't have to because our chance to hit is the same. Oh, they come back as a vengeful imp. How fun. Alright, we've dragged our own guy into the fight. That's fine. Uh, 
They're going to dash. They're not. Eldritch Blast. Two targets. That's fine. I'm not going to shield. Because this round is so short. It's unlikely that we're going to get much more use out of that when we could use it in a multi combat scenario. Back to everyone hiding. Do these imps have anything? No. Oh. Previously, there was some kind of magical barrier at the boudoir that is now... Did I gain an invitation? Did I pick one up from somewhere, perhaps? I am uncertain. But I am still going to go around stealing stuff, obviously. The Quatrasuna. Restoration Faucet. Oh, God. Uh, Diva. You are going to be a tester here. No, no, no. Alright, they can't use it. I wonder if somebody else can. Does this hurt me? Something over there. Over where? Oh, is it these things? That's very interesting. Did that give me back my spell slots as well? Because if so, we might be able to manage with this. Shadowheart. Can't afford any mistakes. You are down two fourth level spell slots and a third level spell slot. And some health. It is a complete full restore. That's incredibly interesting. Taking my time in the shadow. Well, clearly... I'm going to refresh that now for everybody. Don't mind if I do. Gale. Tolerable. Of course. Okay. So we have all of our spell slots back. There's a mysterious button there. That might be worth a look. What? The button or something else? Raphael's bed. Oh, this is some kind of artwork thing. Maybe there's a switch behind this that will turn off the um, the force field around the hammer. Raphael's safe. DC 25 is no bother. Five soul coins. Raphael's notes. The actors have finally reached Baldur's Gate so I can commence the next stage of my play. They have learned the Astral Prism's secret. I will tell them that I have the key, the Orphic Hammer, the only thing that can break the Prince's chains. The hammer will be kept safely in my archive, protected by a password that, it sh what shall it be? Give me my heart's desire. So this is the key to lifting that dome. The archives will be a walk in the park now. Awesome. Totally here for it. Anything else around here? Move unseen. Large vase. Devilish still life. Mahogany wardrobe. Just fancy clothes. There is one more opulent chest. We will check that out. Well, I'm very relieved 
to find a resolution to getting this hammer. Diluted oil of sharpness. Battle mage's power. Cash. Let's get Diva back in the group. And then return following our wave of destruction back to the archives. My next fear is that something dangerous is going to occur the moment we take the hammer, but we won't know until we get there. There's one other thing I would like to do before that, though, once we are inside this room. We are currently wearing an amulet of Misty Step, but somewhere in here is an amulet that lets us cast Lesser Restoration. And with that Lesser Restoration, we can treat Shadow Heart's bloodless condition Ready or not. and then swap that back do, 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 do. it was this one cool I'm just waiting all right Astarian, you're the master thief that which you seek is still so close yet so far give me my heart's desire Blinks away at your words Saving. Okay, everything's still quiet. Let's check out this hammer. Surely it's got to be good. Legendary versatile warhammer throne. Spell resistance. You have advantage on spell saving um, on saving throws against spells. Weapon enchantment plus three. Unshackling strike. Are Warhammers usually versatile? Alright, Shadowheart's going to be the only one who has a hope to benefit from this. Although, at the same time, we have Saloon's Spear of Night, which is a plus three weapon anyway. Advantage on wisdom saving throws and perception checks. This is advantage on all saving throws against spells. We are not proficient with martial weapons or Warhammers, so... That very quickly closes that down. Somebody else said that I was just hoarding, like, the best weapon in the game somewhere, and I'm not even sure which one that would be. Unless I've changed it. Oh, it's this guy. Nur Nurlana. But I don't have anyone proficient with tridents, so, you know, there's that. Immunity to falling damage, I hadn't even seen. Yeah, tridents are just not the thing for me. Who is now holding this thing? Shadowheart is. We can still equip it and use it, even if we're not proficient, right? We can't use the concussive smash because we're not proficient. But we can steal, wield it, and attack with it. We just don't add our proficiency bonus. So, Shadowheart has that. Now, we want to get back down to the basement, which was... Here? There was a way to get down that we found. I think it was along this right-hand side. I'm going to take the... Oh, we can get out of the boudoir window. So, I don't think we need to be stealthing. Unless something is about to happen as we come out of this door. We're okay. So, we're going to get the squad back to the boudoir. We're going to avoid that go guy over there. And from here, an empty vase. What's this artwork about? In the twisted strokes of the artist's brush, you sense the fragments of a forsaken soul laid out in reds, blues, and yellows. 
Is there anything I can do about that? I don't think so. Are we all going to make it out of here? Because I want to go down this passageway. I wonder if one of us uses the passageway, will everybody else just follow along naturally? Because the party is all technically together. Diva, where did Diva go? Lovely day this, for now. Either something strange happened to the painting, or Diva just kind of despawned somewhere along the line. Shadowheart, just go in the gut. Stealth, go in the hole. You really went and did it, didn't you? Yeah, <laughs> that was the plan. The whole house is tumbling down, and Raphael striding across the plains to come catch a mice. And I swing that big, beautiful hammer, crack open my chains, and let's get out of here. It's time to buy this coop on a hope and a prayer. Let's do this. Any advice for what comes when Raphael's coming? Don't! But if you must, make sure I'm with you. He makes mistakes when he's angry, and seeing me running free will make him as angry as an axe head. Let's do this. You sound so brave, but we really don't have a choice. Right. Were you still think? We are now. Petrified debtor. Time for a little pilfering. Right. So a couple of things to kill. I assume I need not to hit the chains, but the stones. With the hammer. A level eight spectator is not the most lovely thing in the world, but it's also not the worst thing. Ragged Rock is how we got here. Astarian. Can you make this shot from here? Definitely not. Where are all the imps? Just around and about. Okay. Lucy made it across the gap. Can't afford to fail. Shadowheart did as well. We haven't taken an action yet. Hero's Feast might have been something to consider, but it's too late for that now. I just want this spectator dead as fast as possible. That's what I want. Gail didn't make it over the gap yet. Yes, he did. Awesome. Okay. Curriculum of Strategy will certainly go a long way into hurting this guy. Yep. Astarian, do you still have an action coming in from initiative? We do. We do still have an action. Bonus action hide? Damn, no. Lucy can't get over there. Okay, Shadowheart, we're going to try and hit with Guiding Bolts. That gives advantage to Astarian to sneak attack. Oh, there's another one over there. I had no idea, but the first one's dealt with. That's the important part. Um, we've all taken actions, haven't we? I think. I'm going to stay here and let all the small stuff come to us in a moment. Dashing is fairly expected. Vengeful Imp is Eldritch Blasting. Polymorph, but failed, I guess. 
Or did it just turn into a sheep then? It did just turn into a sheep. So long as they don't have repelling blast, we'll be okay. Also, they're missing a lot, which is good for us. Shadowheart's AoE is probably going to be pretty critical here. We... I thought we'd all... Oh, Lucy has not taken an action yet. Okay. With that in mind, then... Let's fly... Up here... How is this target blocked? That's what I really don't understand. Um, chain lightning. What is that? What is that? Ah, oh, the mysteries. Anything else of note in this space? Nothing immediately obvious. Yeah, I want this to work. And it seems like it really doesn't want to for this AoE. There's currently four imps. I can see three of them. Not sure where one more of them is, but that's fine. Well, we could always do... Are they immune to necrotic? Or poison? These guys might be. Yeah, they're immune to poison, so... Cloud kill doesn't work there so well. We could do the classic twin cast chain lightning. That wouldn't be bad, would it? Yeah, that cooked a lot of imps. And then, do I want to quicken something as well? How about a blight? How about the free blight I get out of my item? Oh, God. No. That's not very helpful. What fools these mortals be. Gail took an action already. We have movement. Let's push up. I'm going to put myself over there. Shadowheart has also had an action. I should have probably equipped this hammer first. It's an action to equip it. I can't haste myself right now. Otherwise, that would have been useful. Well... That seems fine. Back to the top of the order, which means we do have actions again. Um, are you close enough to Gale to get a sneak attack here? Oh, you got four HP. Then don't worry about that at all. Um, I want to do as much damage as I can to this guy. Basically, I think. I'm not going to be able to sneak attack. It's very unlikely I get away with bonus action hiding here. Correct. Alright then, just shoot it then. 29 damage. Still pretty good for a basic action. Flying, not dashing.
blinded. Interesting. Wounding Ray saved. How many eyes you got, buddy? Ouch. Is he paralyzed? Yes. That's why that was bad. Okay. Uh, will stand in my way. Lucy. We cannot move. Do our attacks have disadvantage? No. Double movement, difficult terrain. Yeah, I get that much. Um, can I hit this guy? I think I can. Twin spell. One sorcery point. Oh, are you resistant to fire as well? You're immune to fire, resistant to ice. So, twin spell necrotic. Hit you. Hit you. Target is out of sight. What, behind? God damn it. I want to kill that so it's not a problem for Astarian, and I want to hit this anyway. All right, I guess I'm just blighting over here. What do I have to lose? Solid. Can't give up. Shadow heart. I could haste myself, or we could just go big first and then worry about the hasting, like worrying about the whole chain bit afterwards, because there's nothing right now that indicates we need to have it done before this fight is actually resolved. So, here is a third level one of them. That's rough, but... Because they were engaged with Shadowheart. That was a sneak attack. That is rough. Oh, that guy's in a fog cloud or something. Fine by me. Oh no! Gale! They always have to be such dicks, don't they? Lucy. Need to act fast. Shadow Heart. How much damage does our melee attack actually do? Not very much at all. Fine. 20 when they save. That's rough. Starion, we can bonus action. Oh, we can bonus action offhand attack here for three, and then finish them off. Good. Shadowheart. What's next? I wonder. Revivify. Gale. Take you. Death can't have me. Not yet. Give me just one of those. And a couple of them. Shadow Heart. Spectators. Oh! Paralyzing Ray. Level 3 Necromancy spell. Level 3 Necromancy spell paralyzes the target. Two turns. Always prepared. Con save. That's actually huge. Then... I mean, we might as well have Lucy do this, since she is the campaign character. One down. Moving ahead. But of course, I am going to have to investigate that door before we go any further, right? It's too mysterious not to.
What on earth? Oh, is this the... This would be the way in if you came in the regular way through the vault floor. That makes a lot of sense. Smite the magical bonds, keeping a creature restrained, paralyzed, or stunned, freeing it. Yeah, can we get out of here now? But we must dress the holly fint in the room. You can see how you avoid looking at me. I must be so terribly mutilated after all these decades of torture. You are very Don't pretty. Tell me how bad it is. Bit of running mascara, but you're fine. You are beautiful, Hope. I'd blush if they had left me any skin to redden, and I would kiss you if they had not torn off my lips. No, really, you're fine. Seriously, there's nothing wrong with you physically. I hope that was a compliment. We'll carve our way to the entrance hall and chop Raphael into messes. That's the hopeful version, of course. The likely version is that we are the messes and he is the chopper. Onwards! She is in the party now. Um, do we want to leave the way we came? Or do we want to go up through the main entrance? Is a great question. I want to put my weapon back and fly us down here. Where is everybody else? We are very disparate at the moment. Where's Shadowheart? Right there, with the Starion. I think we go... Do we go back the way we came? It seems safer, doesn't it? Rather than just popping up into the unknown. This way we can pop out into what we do know. That certainly seems safer. As for hope... What do we know about hope? Cleric? Massacre wounds, bless. Basic actions. Divi we can divine intervention once. And get the weapon that comes out of it. Will our deity grant you the legendary weapon forged in the fires of your holy bond? Call upon your deity to provide you with a rich supply of potions and camp supplies. I mean, do I want to do this now? If I'm going to, like, steal her rightful deity's gifts? Or is that excessive? Um, either way, we need to climb back up here. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. I should also check... What kind of divine intervention she might have as a cleric? We can all please get up the ledge. Thank you. Oh, can I not? Are you locked and unable to be changed? Divine Intervention, Radiant Strike, Preserve Life, she's a Life Cleric, Channel Divinity. Evoke a healing energy that restores your allies for 30 HP. It's pretty massive. I'm just going to quick save. Just to see what happens if we do this and this. Devotee's Mace. Equipped by Hope, legendary weapon, mass enchantment plus three, 1d6 plus six plus 1d8 radiant, healing incense aura. Eliminate, emanate a soothing aura. You and nearby allies regain 1d4 hit points at the start of your turn. For 10 turns, resets on a long rest. I mean... 
That's not like the greatest weapon in the history of the world or anything, is it? As it goes. Alright, I'm gonna cancel that off. Right, we'll leave her divine intervention alone. Get back to sneaking and climb the cragged rock again once more. So we want to get up to this balcony here. The hop, a skip, and a jump. And then where do we want to get to? Just the foyer. But I think we have to go through the feast hall to get there, from what I can tell. So that'll be interesting. Is everybody else going to catch up? Gale, Astarian, I know you're capable of jumping. Or you're not. Uh, Gale. A wizard, not a cat burglar. Would you please help Astarian and yourself up? Keeping my head down. Who's missing? Is it? L Hope. Do they have any other gear on? Can we see that? No, there's no inventory screen for Hope. I can examine you. Blessed Healer. When you cast a healing spell, get more HP. Dark Vision. Disciple of Life. Your devotion emanates your healing spells. When you cast a healing spell, the target gets hit points equal to 2 plus the spell. Dwarven Resilience, Attack of Opportunity. Some Wisdom. And basic stuff otherwise. Gold Dwarf. Okay. Don't mind me. Gale, we definitely want you more healed than this. Um... And if you're going to be more healed, we might as well use these healing spell slots, right? That's big AoE, so I'll save that. Cure wounds, like... Oh, can I not cast it at third level? Take your... Take your... That'll do. I think we're long past worrying about itchy eyes. Starion. Oh god, what is going on? Oh god. Run away, run away, run away. Well, three of us actually managed to get away. But we are going to be fighting another Hell Sphere. Lucy. I can be subtle sometimes. Lucky Lucy. Yay! Right, thirty seven HP there. Who's not in? Shadow Heart. I need for this giant sphere to be more dead, but you don't hear me complaining. Well, not much. Uh, force damage is the way forward, so give me a fourth level one of these because it gets an extra damage die. That did not get us seen, so we can still cast a cantrip. All right, now we're all in. A rough tempest I will raise. On the double. Dull. I wonder if there's ever a world where I could push this thing off the world. Guiding bolt? Why not? I mean, I don't really need bless, do I? Oh, I have ice. 
Nice. I will take that. We spent our action already. We'll do it my way. Lucy spent their action already. I have no idea how this thing's going to do against doors. Or if it's just going to go after the spiritual weapon. I think it did try and go after the spiritual weapon. 19 damage is great. Fresh round for us, Lucy. You'd get the door. Nothing important is ever easy. Hilarious. Oh, and mutant to necrotic. Fine. Hope. You've got ice powers. A little bit of luck bending. Gale. Let's spill some blood. Starion, we've got the simple job. We don't get ice arrows, do we? That is not a thing that exists. Oh, well, it is. It is a thing that exists. The splash completely destroyed my spiritual weapon. Not worth. Not worth at all. Never a dull moment. Uh, Lucy had her action. Shadowheart. Alright, in that case, just give me a first level one of these to mostly act as a distraction. Feel my mistress's wrath. Get the door behind you. Are we getting to attack with this sword this round? No. Either it really doesn't understand doors or something else is broken. But I'm totally here for it. I moved too far. That's my mistake. Can we finish this this round? Let's have some fun. Nope. Another fight. Let's go. Ah, uh, cone of cold. Time to press ahead. Six HP remaining. Who's not had actions? Shadowheart. Let's end this. On I go. Shadowheart, how are you going to do six damage here? That'll do it. Can I just not loot this thing at all? Apparently not. Sure, that guy does not care about our existence. This one does. Really? Now. Or at least I care about them caring about our existence. Vengeful Merigon. That is unexpected, somewhat. Shame we're not going to get over there fast enough with the spiritual weapon. Hope can not go because it's not her turn. But everybody else can contribute. Deactivated. Effect is vulnerable to fire damage. What is going on? Strange mysteries are afoot. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Something good here, I hope. There's the prison hatchway. So that would have been the way we could have gotten in if we were going the standard way. There's the portal room. We've realized that is no good to us. Yeah. 
Given that we're here now, we will go and check the chest. Debtor's attire, that's what we were wearing magically, wasn't it? Keep your blade close. Spiritual weapon has faded out of existence again. Misty Step, Arrow of Dragon Slaying, Transposition. Cool. Problem is, I save everything for, like, too good to use syndrome. Right. There's a, there's a big party of people out here. So, killing them is not the hard part, but killing the things that they then raise out of their selves would be the problem. So, I'm going to stick that up there. That is interesting. Right, I want this to get into initiative reasonably quickly, please. There you go. I wanted initiative because our spell turns were ticking down on this. We only get it for 10 turns. Right, let's get everybody else in shenanigans. I think just this is fine for now. Gale. Yep, I was expecting some of that to happen. Hope is at the end of the initiative. Shadowheart now doesn't have anyone directly witnessing her location. So we can push forward a bit if we really want to. I'm not sure that I do. What is going on? They don't have... Um... The thing. What is fleeting protection? If the affected entity is attacked with radiant damage, Raphael's protection reflects twice the ammo at the back is fire. I'm bad and dumb and dumb and bad. I'm ready. Right, we've all had actions. Nope, Astarian gets a new action. Good. They're going to run into the blades or not. Thirteen damage, so close. Shadowheart had her action coming into the initiative. Lucy. Oh no, this is Hope. Simple stuff. Back to the top of the order. Honestly, against these small ones, we don't need the sneak attacks. Case in point. Time to push my luck again. Can I even see anyone this far off? Just barely. One can't always be a gentleman. <laughs> my turn. I'm just waiting for it to all go wrong. Because right now, this seems too simple. They stopped in the fire. These guys still have fleeting protection against radiant damage. We don't have great options otherwise. Revoke guest status. 
Hope banishes one of the unwelcome guests from her house forever. What does that mean? Does it just banish? But this is... Is she Raphael? I'm so confused. I mean, I'll take it, but I'm still confused. I guess it's different to banish in that it stays permanent. You taking a turn or not, buddy? You know you want to. Go on. Nope. Okay. Totally fine with me. Spike growth is going to do very little in this fire. Starion. Just a regular one of them. Nice work. Come on, can't stay idle. Lucy. Tail for the ages. Gail. So we're just in cantrip corner at the moment, basically. Until somebody gives me a reason to really break out the big guns. This guy is very confused. Between, like, the thorns and the daggers and the fire, he's having a bit of a hard time. The doors we came in through are closed now. Nice charm. Means they have disadvantage on other attacks against us. Um, what now? Are you going to explode? Well, we don't actually need to sneak attack you, so we won't. Well, so much for peace. I'm just gonna pass turn while we either wait for some of this surface stuff to go away or for this guy to actually get in our line of sight. Yep. Okay. Relatively simple. I will take... Um, prayer of healing for the group. Starion's Cloud of Daggers fades out of existence. I don't need Merrigan Halberds. Let's see what we have here. The fire is out. No time to waste. There's a Feast of Ash. Unseen, as I was taught. Right. Are we going to get out of this door this easily? Or is the big bad going to be on the other side of this door? you need to know about Raphael. He's almost home now, closer than a kiss. His favorite color is blood, and he probably knows a thousand ways to kill us. But this is going to hurt. I have to keep going. Here we go. I'm just clicking it and hoping. Time slows for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. There he is. You. Oh. 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 There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order, and there is decorum. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. 
I will not abide it. Your house is in disarray. The guards couldn't stop me from freeing hope. Sister, oh sister, I wept and I cried, but all would be well if you were by my side. Sister? Oh, hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla. Tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. I should have gone back Take to the spa. Free will and they call you a God damn it. Allow them to indulge it and they tyrants you would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me instead you're not so different to doomed casas overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash wrong 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 they will save their world and smash you to smithereens it's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me hope i'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised this isn't a rebellion it's a revolt i'm revolting <laughs> then hope dies today commander you can salvage a trophy from these insects when i'm done with them these insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Is that the guy I killed in the Trials of Shah? Persuasion? Join the winning side, Raphael. Oh, join the winning side. Raphael doesn't stand a chance against me. Hell yeah. DC 30, plus 18, Tides of Chaos advantage. That's not enough, is it? But we have inspiration. God, I hope we have inspiration. One last roll. I can't do guidance. I don't do guidance in conversations. Yes! <laughs> ah, sorcerer is so full of charisma. To stand against a devil in his own home. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. Why is his clothes vibrating if like that? If you have that? any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. If you kill me, you'll never get the crown. Wrong. I might have to wait another hundred years, maybe a thousand. But my time will come. Your time is over, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw. Right, I'm just waiting for a turn for mine. Rays of fire. How about no and control chaos? Also, what is this song? OK, 
Can I please have a turn to take a beat? Okay. I'm going to save it there. And then pick up this fight next time. Because we've been going an hour and this fight is not going to be a quick one. For now. Thank you very much for watching. I'll leave you with this song. Cheers.